Alright, welcome back to another episode of Gun. Ah, surely this should be the last Federal Marshal mission for now. So let's go ahead and... We've been expecting a coach from Dodge. Should have been here by now. Ride their route, see what's going on. Let's check it out. Uh, let's check it out. Up our, keep up in our stats. We'll move on with the rest of the game. Okay, I think the way this works is that's not actually the driver. Greetings, mister. We're just taking a break in the shade. Help us! Ah! Yeah. I'm done. Kill that son of a bitch! This fella's hurt awful bad. We need to get him back to Dodge. Mm -hmm. Can you clear out them boulders on the road? There might still be some PNT up above them. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's jump on a little sorrel here and we'll swing around. this way. Close enough. <laughs> well, darn it. It's going to leave me without a horse. 
That's okay. Now then, let's head around there, lay some TNT down, and blow that boulder. Even though I'm pretty sure that that coach could probably go around it. <laughs> it's like a big explosion. I think this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, this fella's hurt awful bad. We need to get him back to Dodge. Can you clear out them boulders on the road? There might still be some TNT up above them. Okay. Okay, cool. That worked. And now I have no horse. So, guess we can hack it. Or Back to Dodge, as my boss would say, huff it, <laughs> huff it back to Dodge City. Grab some ammo. Let's check the Alhambra just one more time just to make sure there's not a poker mission available to us because that would be very helpful. Nope. Sure a lot of commotion for an empty saloon. Okay, back to Empire. You are riding your horse too hard. <laughs> Yeah, you can actually kill your horse doing that. It's burning him too bad. If you lope, his health will restore just like that. Gallop. Have to wait. Okay. So, you know what? Let's check in here real quick. Alright, I 
don't think. No, nothing in here. I was trying to remember where the. I know there's poker missions here, and I thought on that last uh, core mission that it gave us some poker missions. But I guess that you don't get those till later. That's kind of a bummer. What's money we got? Oops. Ninety-five dollars. Well, maybe I'll try to go buy something. Although all we're using is just uh, pistols and rifles right now, so I don't think it'd be worth it to take a trip out there to the Indian trader. So, all right, I'm gonna pause it real quick. Give me just a second. I gotta go check on something. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, so I think we're ready to start the next core mission, and if I remember right, it's going to be a jailbreak. Let's so see what we can do here. Hey, kid. I'm nothing but your damn puppet. Is that what you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, kid. Who told you such a thing? Webb and Rudabaugh before I plugged them both. They're dead? Just like you're gonna be. Kid, listen to me. That preacher you're looking for is in that room right now with Jenny. She lured him there. I was just coming to get you. Liar. <coughs> Jenny! <coughs> no! Oh, no. Got the touch with blacksmith, don't he? What did you do? Torched his printing press. You saw it. A subtle act of protest to silence the mouth of tyranny. That's Sophie. He's educated. How come he's in there? It's a little game we play. They lock me up, and I find a way out. And you, my good man, how did you incur the mayor's disfavor? I killed Webb and Rudabaugh gonna kill Hoodoo, too, and a certain Jack Preacher, and that 
One-eyed pig they work for. Thomas Magruder. Railroad man. He's taken over the territory. Us and the Apaches are the only ones fighting back. Count me in, too. As soon as we find a way out of here. Okay. So we gotta find a way out of this jail cell. So we need to talk to this fella here. If we're gonna get out of here tonight, that deputy's gotta die. See if you can grab him when he gets close to the bars. Okay. Lacey from the H.J. sent over some chicken for your last meal. <laughs> but I'm afraid there isn't much left. <laughs> Besides, you don't want to shit yourself when you swing from that tree tomorrow, do you? <laughs> I heard you was a little sneak that done cracked that safe in Monte Verde. Give me the keys or you'll be slipping on your own guts. I don't got them, I swear. Hoodoo took them for safekeeping. So, so killing me won't do no good, you see? You'll still swing Tamara. If you grab that badge he so enjoys degrading, you can use its pin to pick the cell lock. I'll tell you how, if you promise to free me as well. Thanks you, partner. Hey, oh! This human lockbox they got me in is gonna be a little tougher. I'm afraid you're probably gonna have to blast me out of here if you hold fair to our deal. I'll hold fair. Let me stash some horses beneath the bridge, then I'll scrounge out back of the powder shop for something to blast you out. In much shape to fight, but if you get me out of here, I gotta hide out up in the mountains. Reckon that makes us partners, Soapy. Hope you're right about picking this lock. <clears throat> okay. Now just give it a Jimmy, and she ought to turn loose. Ah, sweet as candy. Grab your gear before you... the deputy's disc. Patchy bow. Okay, cool. We got it back. A silent, deadly bow kills enemies silently from a distance. Awesome. I knew we'd be getting it sometime or another. Alright, firing an arrow. Press and hold the R trigger to charge a shot, then release R to fire the arrow for a silent kill. You can always, or you can also zoom in. Okay. Molotovs. Right, we got 19. Let's see if we can find some rifle ammo. There we go. That'll work. Okay, we're gonna need this bow for this area here. A little stealth mission here. Nothing too challenging though, I don't think. You'll do yourself a favor if you can stay out of sight. Try and bring these horses back real quiet like. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Was a Dodge City maid who was a whore by trade? For a buck, got a whack, she'd lie on her back and let the cowboys have a poke at her crack. One day, to her surprise, her belly began to rise. Her slit gave a grunt, and Al jumped a run with his balls between his eyes. Oh. Just as he stared. Fight, are you? Next one's between. Uh, 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 
tasting your own blood yet? Okay. Yeah, I'll show off the scalp eventually. But we can't scalp people now. Not that it really matters. Okay, let's grab this Appaloosa. You might want to create a distraction before you get near that powder shop. Why don't you fire up the livery with a whiskey bomb? That ought to give Hoodoo's men something to do while we get the hell out of here. Okay. Maybe a fire at the livery will draw folks' attention. So, if, uh, if you travel that way, boys, you better... 
best steer clear of that cabin. Booker the Butcher may be laying for you. Along with all the ghosts of them folks he murdered. This should be enough to blow the wall open. In case I made the charge too strong. Yeah. It was nice knowing you, Soap. Dang it, where's that keg? Should be good to go now. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't realize I wasn't carrying that keg anymore. did it. Gentlemen, I regret to say this is where I fall. The calmer climbs of dear old Dodger calm. So long, so I wish you well. Okay. Kid, move your ass. They'll be out looking for us soon. I'm taking you to meet Clay Allison. Territory looking for something, but no one knows what he's after.
All right, cool. Broke out, and we're joining the resistance. All right, so we got a 25-point health boost. We got new Pony Express missions, bounty missions, and we got poker missions available. We need to check out those poker missions as soon as we can, see if they're available, get a little more money. And we have access to dynamite. And also, I believe if we're able to keep the bow this time, well, I could be wrong but about last time, but if we've got the bow after this is over, this next cutscene, then we can try the, uh, the hunting missions. So dynamite can be lit and thrown for a timed explosion or doused and thrown and then shot as a trap. Don't shoot, boys. It's Port. Port. It's good to see you. Ah. Ooh, how bad they treat you. They busted me up pretty good, but I didn't squawk none. This here's the fella who sprung me. Port, are you blind? This is one of Hoodoo's boys. Search him. We saw them shaking hands in front of the hotel. No, Clay. He's all right. He killed Webb and Rudabaugh. What the hell is this? You know this man? That's my father, Ned White. Bullshit! I served with Ned in the war. He was killed in action ten years ago. You're mistaken, friend. Ned and I have been working the Rockies since I was a cub. Ned was murdered just a few weeks ago. Clay? He's after Thomas Magruder, just like us. I tracked the man behind Ned's death to Empire. Turns out he was working for Thomas Magruder. Ah, oh, want to get Magruder, do you? And every bastard on his payroll. Welcome to the Resistance. You can bet they've turned Empire into a fortress since your escape, but there may be a way in yet. Okay. So this is the hideout of the resistance up here in the mountains. Uh, we don't necessarily have to start the next core mission here. We don't have to talk to Clay just yet. We can go and do some more side missions, which that's what we want to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now we can switch between Molotovs or whiskey bombs and dynamite. And we do have a bow now. That's awesome. Nice, we have some ammo for it instead of three arrows. Let's look around here for a minute. I'll cut the video because I'm running a little long, but no big deal. Yeah, oh well. Okay. I'm going to cut it here. Next video, we will check out some more side missions before we come back up to the hills and talk to Clay for the next part of the storyline. So, thanks to everybody for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of Gun. Later.